Hey guys, it's not the quietest area because there's a highway in back of me, but I want to talk about thoughts um, from my run today. So, I ate like crap last night, went out for dinner, and let's just say it had oil, it was some pasta, some bread, I never eat bread. Anyway, had bread, not too much of it, but whatever, enough to not want it again the next day. Um, see, the thing is, when I do eat badly, I recognize it and I move on. And it is what it is, and I don't, uh, I don't kill myself over it, and I don't have it again. Some people, they have it the very next meal, because they can't stop, they're addicted. I totally understand that, but I don't have that, thank God. I get it, like, out of my system, and I'm, like, good, you know? So, I'm walking with five-pound ankle weights right now. I'm pretty much, I don't know if you can see that, I'm pretty much drenched, um, because I started out tired. I think I was tired, or it was just brain fog, because when you eat really badly, it's brain fog. Seriously, like, you think you're really tired. I mean, I didn't get that many hours sleep, so I can't really say it was only the food. But, um, you know, the show must go on. I had to take my kids to school. I had to get dressed and get my running stuff because I run right after I drop them off. And uh, I don't go back home. I don't relax. I used to do that in New York in the winter time because it was so, so cold in the morning and I would wait for the sun to get really warmer and try to warm up the day. But anyway, this is Hawaii, so no excuses. Actually, the earlier you go, the better because it gets really, really hot during the day and then you get turned off. So I uh, park over here and I end up going across the highway into a little nook where it's like a secret getaway, and I showed it on the last video for lessons I learned from running. Check that out. And uh, basically, what I'm trying to say is um, today, all right, what do you do when you're falling down a mountain? I was literally falling and sliding, and I have my trail shoes on, and I was sliding. It was covered in moss, wet leaves. It rained last night, something crazy. And I was just like out of control, but I really love to run down these these hills really fast. I like to run down the mountain fast, but no can do. I could not do it. I had to humble myself to it. I said, you know what? Add more hills and just walk this or shuffle down and don't kill yourself for it. Don't get injured. That's the main goal. So now I'm walking up and down hills just to cool down. Anyway, so... There I was, going down these hills, a little bit, like, pissed off that I couldn't run uh, because I was ready for it. I had just gone up a big mountain, and then I wanted to run down. Um, so I went even further down where there are hills that are really steep but exposed to the sun. Now, this was in a canopy like this, and this was great the, uh, across the street where I ran. And... Um, I won't run here because this is dangerous with all the cars. But you get the idea with the canopy of trees. Anyway, so there I was going up these hills in the exposed area. And uh, people looking at me like I'm nuts. Because I wasn't just jogging up the hill. I was running up the hill. And I know I have far to go. So what was I doing? I was like, pace yourself, pace yourself. But I just felt so good. I just kept running. So... What happens when that happens is that you you could burn out by the top of the hill, like big time. You could blow up. But I slowed down my pace at the, t at the harder parts of the hill. Really? It says that setting stopped. I guess it didn't stop. All right, I'm still recording. So I slowed down my pace at the top of the hill and it was really getting steep and I thought I was gonna die and it felt nauseous. Aw. Baby, baby chick, it died. It's a shame. Such is life, right? There's a chicken here. There's a hen. I know I'm going off topic, but there's a hen that comes around here, and there's roosters running around and everything. And the hen comes with the little chicks, and anything that gets near it, me included, 
starts really like balking, balking really loud and starts running into the hills with the chicks to protect them. His mother's rule. And we'll do anything for our children. Okay. Well, good mothers anyway. So, I added more hills in the exposed sun. And I got to tell you, I mean, once your water bottle's up, you're up. You're done. And that gets scary. If you don't have enough water later and you still have to run with pills, that's frightening. So, luckily I had enough water. And when I went downhill, I didn't need as much. And because I sweat so much, I cool off. So I'm really, really happy about that. Uh, and I'm getting an arm workout holding this thing up. So basically, I wanted to talk about how you get through these things. Don't suck in your stomach. Don't worry about how you look. Just, your stomach should be relaxed, comfortable. You should catch your breath whenever you can. Sometimes I go all out and get my breath. Or sometimes I'm just at a steady breath pace and it's coming in and it's coming out and it's helping me relax and it's calming me down while I'm running up these hills. Now, it's a... Uh, it's like a mind fuck to, I don't usually curse in videos because I really, I mean, I'm no stranger to the word, but I don't like to curse in videos because I, I like these videos to get shared and I like young kids to see this, but there's really no other word for mind fuck. It really is one. When you are so tired and brain foggy and you do these train runs, and, and you know, and, and there's no prize at the end, and there's no, there's no one cheering you on, and there's no race really that's in the, you know, right now coming up. It's not like pressure or anything like that. And I do it anyway. I do it to get the, to get the kinks out. I know I should be stretching more. That's a definite. But I still do it with a little bit of aches and a little bit of pain in my foot and wherever else and I do it I get it done and I don't complain about it I think it's a privilege I think it's a privilege let me say that again I think it's a privilege to exercise I don't think it's a chore I think it's a privilege there are so many people that are injured that are dying to have my problem and there are so many people that are handicapped that are dying to have this problem so I never complain, ever, about exercise. It is not a chore. It is fun, it's good for me, and it makes me feel amazing. It's my drug of choice. It really is. It's my drug of choice. And you don't know it till you do it. People think it's hard work, and it is. No question about it, it's hard work. I don't mask it. I never ever say it's easy. And anyone can do it, but anyone can start to do it. And what I'm trying to say is, I think that you should just push yourself a little bit and see how far you can go. See what you can do. Why not? Why not give that to yourself? You know? So many people that can't do things because they paralyze themselves in their minds. Those are not the people that are injured. Those are not the people that are physically handicapped. Those are the people that are injured in here. I'm saying to go outside and try something new. Get out of your comfort zone. Go out and do it. Don't feel like you have pressure, but don't feel like you can't do it either. There's something wrong about people that think that they can't do something. It's a limit and it paralyzes you and it will affect you in other ways in your life. Just as running and getting through things will affect me in a good way. I will get through other things in my life because this is hard, but I can get through it. And you find out you really do get through it. Look, it's not gonna be it's not gonna be a hill workout every time, but you know, I think that uh, people that just run flat courses and they just, you know, la di da do a jog, they're not getting to the level that they could. It's just something that I think that, you know, you don't have to race, but signing up for a 5K or signing up for a, you know, a half marathon wouldn't be a bad thing. Or a walkathon. Anything. 
Did you check out these mountains? I mean, are you kidding me? Are you kidding? I did not see this growing up in Brooklyn, New York, that's for sure. But you know what? I got what I got out of Brooklyn, New York, and now I really appreciate this. Really appreciate it. Okay. Well, this got long. I'm signing off. I hope you got something out of this. I know I did. These are video vlogs, like the video vlogs. They're diaries to me. I like to look back at them. I like to get motivated myself, by myself. I really am self-motivated. And I hope that being accountable for it and telling you guys about it, I don't know, just motivates you a little bit more. I did about five and a half miles and I did it in almost a 12 minute pace, which is slower than usual. <laughs> I usually do almost four miles in 1044 pace. For people that don't run, you probably don't know what I'm talking about. But people that do run, you do know what I'm talking about. These are steep hills. No joke. I'm going up one right now with weights. Okay. Get out there. It's a privilege. Take care.